This is Sherry Lynn Phelps, Agronomy Manager with Saskatchewan Pulse Growers. Today we're going to talk about rolling pulses. We roll pulses so that it helps with the ease of harvest. Peas and lentils particularly do have challenges with their harvestability and we roll the crops usually prior to emergence to push those rocks down into the ground so that makes it safer for the combine to harvest. Preference for rolling is prior to emergence to reduce any damage to the above ground leaf matter that could result in higher incidence of disease. But what happens if you can't get the crop rolled prior to emergence? There are recommendations and many of our pulse crops can be rolled after emergence. Peas can be rolled up to the third true leaf stage or the five node stage. Lentils up to the five true leaf or seven node stage. Soybeans from the V1 or first trifoliate stage to the V3 or third trifoliate, avoid rolling during emergence with soybeans because the hook or the arch of the emerging seedling is very susceptible to damage. With chickpeas and faba beans, they are a little bit more upright, so rolling isn't as necessary, and the preference for chickpeas is to really roll before emergence. If you have to roll chickpeas after emergence, you can do so up to the eighth node stage, but remember that any damage to the foliage above ground could make it more susceptible to disease. With faba beans, it's not recommended to roll them after emergence as the plants are thicker stemmed and could have more damage. For more information on rolling pulses, visit our website at saskpulse.com. This has been Sherry Lynn Phelps, Agronomy Manager with Saskatchewan Pulse Growers. Thank you for watching.